heavy construction equipment masses at the edge of tidal mud flats to take on the first ever board tunnel under the San Francisco Bay. This ribbon cutting ceremony officially begins construction of the five mile long water supply tunnel for the San Francisco Public Utilities Commission. We're putting in the diaphragm walls right now and what you see being dug is 140 feet deep for a concrete panel to be poured in there. Jim Stevens is project manager for the contractor, Michael's J.D. Coluccio Joint Venture, that won the contract with a bid of $215.3 million in November 2009. The challenge is going five miles with a tunnel boring machine in this clay material. And and with the only access from this one side, the west side at Ravenswood Shaft. A 15-foot diameter EPBM by Hitachi Zosin will progress from a 58-foot diameter working shaft here in Menlo Park on the peninsula to another in Newark on the east side of the bay. Stephen says the JV chose Hitachi because the company was flexible. Hitachi basically was willing to do things to the machine that we wanted done where the others weren't. John Caulfield of Jacobs Associates is lead designer for the tunnel. It's going to be a fairly standard machine. Uh, it is going to have uh, disc cutters and other uh, rock excavation tools fitted to the face because on the far side of the job over by Newark we have a, a rock promontory that we're going to be going through for about 700 feet. The muck will be removed by conveyor belt and will be tested for hazardous materials before removal from the site. We'll be running five miles of conveyor. We'll have room for about 7,000 cubic yards of material and then we'll be hauling it out. So far excavated muck from the diaphragm wall is in line with the $4 million geotechnical report. It looks like really good tunneling material to me. It's, uh, it's a nice clay, it's a good uh, material for an EPB machine. Uh, I'm pretty happy about that. A precast concrete segmental lining will be followed by a 96 inch diameter welded steel carrier pipe backfilled into place. Stephen says five or six interventions are anticipated on the drive that will run parallel to the existing water pipes that cross the bay on trestles. The drive will reach depths of 110 feet and under as much as three and a half bars of pressure. The difficult part is getting the bits changed at the right time go through the rock, changing back to, you know, bits that cut through the clay, treating the, treating the material in front of the machine to get it out, because this is a earth pressure balanced tunnel boring machine, and so we have to be aware of the, the pressure on the machine and push through that pressure and hold the, hold the face. The contractor is very familiar with that type of system, they have a lot of experience with it, and we're confident they'll do a nice job with it. The TBM is being manufactured in Hitachi's factory in Osaka, Japan, and is scheduled to arrive on site eight months from now in May 2011. In Northern California, Paula Wallace for Tuttle Talk.